What is up everyone? My name is Mr. J and today I am bringing you another Digimatch. On the left we have Zuki and he is playing Justimon and I am on the right and I am playing Garurumon Tribal. So here's going to go ahead drop the Garurumon to discard one and draw two cards. I'm pretty sure it has to be Cyborg or Machine that he discards to get the draw. So he discards the Commandermon. Very interesting that he's playing the Decoy Commandermon. Here I'm going to go into my level 5 in the back. That is the old wear Garurumon. Uh, if I had the promo, I would just play the promo. And I'll be honest with you guys, after this match, I just got, I just went ahead and bought um, the promos. Just two copies. I still need two more. But um, yeah, I didn't invest too much into the deck just in case the ban list, you know? And like I said, I don't like really, I don't like really, I don't like playing meta. But I think Melga X, a lot of the pressure, a lot of the hate will dissipate once BT11 officially releases, because everyone's going to be hating on Black or Greymon. Because you know, that's how it always works. Like the meta deck, everyone loves to hate the meta deck. Here, the Sagittarius mode is going to run into Death Axe, and then the second check is a Justimon, so it will die in the security, unfortunate. Then I'm going to play the Davis, put him to four, to three, my bad. Get my piece that I'm missing. Interesting, he's playing Tankmon. I do like the Tankmon. It works with the Hagurumon. It's also cheap Evo. The only bad part is if you brick, you open no rookies. The Tankmon to play for six cost is uh, pretty hefty. Here he's going to swing with his rookie. He got the value of the Haguru, so he's going to go ahead and swing in security. Chip me down there. And then reveal four off the Black Mary boost. So uh, with Zuki, like I know he's been piloting the Justimon deck for a while now because, you know, everyone's just trying to have fun in the EX3 format. By the time this video goes up, pre-release is this weekend, right? Because I think I recorded this on Saturday. Pre-release is this weekend. So next week, BT11 will be legal. But yeah, I'm going to try to pump out because I know I still have... After this one, like one more match with the Garuruman Tribal, and then I have, uh, I did a locals run with Blue Hybrid, Magda Blue Hybrid that I do want to upload. So I'm going to try to get that out like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Just get it out the way for BT11. And then once, um, once I go to locals next week, I'll start with BT11. I don't know what deck I'm going to play for BT11 for first locals, just because um, I, don't, I don't really want to get clapped by Black or Greymon. Because I feel like there's going to be a lot of Black or Greymon players at my locals. So I'm going to go ahead and swing in security. The X anti body here is going to help me out. If I had the promo wear Garurumon here, it actually would have been game. Because these this X anti body level 5 would have swung for 2 checks. Then obviously it already restand. It already unsuspended. Swing for the last check and then Melga X would swing again. Huh, maybe I'm doing that wrong. But the point is, my boy should have like zero security. Maybe I could have gamed him. But yeah, just get the promo, guys. Just just invest the money, man. Just invest the money. The promo, the level five right now is like five bucks. Maybe four bucks if you want the original art. Though the one that came out in the gift box does look really nice. Here he's going to tap Kazu, so he's going to trash two and then draw two. I think it's interesting that Kazu's opposite, right? I It would have been better if it's draw one and then trash one, but they can't give Black too much support, right? Kon I was about to say Konami. Bandai, right? Bandai. So yeah, Justimon has a lot of effects. I'm pretty sure he has like three when digivolving effects. And then when he's attacking, he, he can suspend. Or I think he can activate effects depending on, on how many tamers he has, right? So for each tamer, he'll activate one of his Windage Evolving effects when attacking. So he has a bunch. I'm pretty sure he's giving the DP buff here. And it does help out because he gets over the Omnimon X Antibody, which at 16k. And my boy, this Justimon is definitely over 16k. Because he has three tamers on the board. I like that Zuki was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm just going to get the DP buff which it did work out here. He's going to Iron Fist and Onslaught my Melga, and that does work out. 
Like he's giving me a lot of memory, but it doesn't matter in this situation because uh, I have no Digimon on board and nothing in raising area. So, and I don't play like Lobo or anything like that. So it sets me back quite a bit. And if he has the hybrid for game, then that's pretty much GG. I'm going to scoop it up because I don't run, I don't run removal because I had to make space for like the Matashita, the X anti bodies and stuff like that. So I have no removal in the deck. We're going to go on to game two. He's going to, I make him go first. So he's going to hatch his Hotmon, go into Kamanjamon in the raising area. I don't think he wanted to do that. I think the perfect stack obviously is with the Sun Arizamon in the bank. Similar to last game, he's going to Hagurumon, trash the Cyber Germon to draw two. Here I do open a Rookie, not bad, not bad. I'm always happy to see the Rookie in Raising Area. Here it looks like I'm going to go into level four. Still no protection. I'm going to play the Davis to leave him at three. Reveal three Rookies. Just get the Searcher. I guess he's living, is he missing his level four? He's going to play black memory boost, reveal top four. Gets a three and a six, three and a five, my bad. He reveals the Congo. Interesting, interesting. Does he have two death X in his hand, dude? Is that two death X? I mean, I know the outcome of this match, but I did not know he was playing death X in his deck. Let me just say that. I'm just telling you, tell you that right now. A second Hagurumon trash adjusting mana draw two cards. Hagurumon again doing such a good job of like filtering his hand. The best rookie, one of the best rookies in black for sure, especially for like cyborgs or machines. Interesting. I promote. I I decide to promote here, but I just want to get like I just want to start cycling because it seems like I'm missing a level five. So I'm going to swing at security for 6k because I have the level 2. And then play another, or did you evolve into another level 4? Yeah, bro. I mean, we saw the Death X. He's going to swing at security again with the Hobman. Swing with the other Hagurumon. My bad. Swings with Kamanjaman. Swings with the Hagurumon. Hits a Matashita. Pops the boost. Oh, the Mana Sheet is actually going to mess me up here. Yeah, because now you can play the Death X for like less, right? I'm surprised he cho he chose not to Death X there. Because he could have de-digivolved and then popped both, both of my level 4s. But yeah, man, if I don't see a level 5 soon, I, I don't know. I'm already down to 2. I have to con like control the board here. I do see the level 5 there. Unfortunately, with the Death X mod, it's not going to matter, right? If he chooses to drop it next turn, and again, I'm playing too wide. Swing over the Hagurumon, he will draw a card because of the, the uh, Dual Tamer there. And the Dual Tamer, I'm going to pass him quite a bit of memory. That Dual Tamer does come up a lot. Like if your opponent chooses to play wide, you're always going to gain two memory. And I'm like, damn, dude. Yeah, he's going to play the Death X, and I think that's for like five costs. My bro, bro. I remember when this happened too. I was so, I, I was kind of salty, man, because I was like, you know what? It's Justin Mon versus Jank the Ruman. It's kind of fair. It's pretty fair. And I saw the Death X Mon, and I'm like, bro. Bro. So I know you guys haven't seen Death X in my builds, because just look at my channel i don't i choose not to play the death x mon because i have death x mon i have two copies of the altar i just choose not to play it because um i don't know when i make the deck profiles i don't i don't really want to include death x because i know the price tag for newer players is, is just pretty steep but the death x mon yeah i, I think i'm just gonna start playing it because <laughs> like, i'm gonna play mastermon next format for sure and you have to run death x mon like death x mon is purple it's searchable off like Salomon, if you play Salomon, it's searchable off Garoman and off the Mako. But yeah, I'm gonna start playing Death X Mon just because of that. But anyway, Zuki, that was still pretty good. Props to him, because yeah, the Justin Mon deck, I I always thought Justin Mon was pretty good. So yeah. Anyways, thank you all for watching. My name is Mr. J, and I will see you all next time.